celebrities who started out poor and homeless. Rags to riches stories don't just happen in the movies. You might be quite surprised to learn some of the world's richest and most successful people we know and love spent nights sleeping on the streets, in their cars, and even couch surfing here and there. Most of them use their struggles as motivation and inspiration to achieve their greatest goals. In today's video, we'll reveal which celebrities started out poor and homeless, and based on where they started, you'll be amazed to see what they've accomplished. Are you ready to hear some inspiring success stories? Let's get started. In her early 20s, when Halle Berry first moved to New York to pursue modeling, Halle Berry did not have a place to live, so she stayed in a homeless shelter and then in a YMCA until she could afford another place to live. Halle tried to ask her mom for help, but she refused to help and decided the best thing would be not to send her daughter more cash. In the end, Berry appreciated her mom's tough love approach because it forced her to figure it out and make it work. In an interview with Reader's Digest, Barry said, It taught me how to take care of myself and that I could live through any situation, even if it meant going to a shelter for a small stent or living within my means, which were meager. I became a person who knows that I will always make my own way. Now she is one of the most renowned actresses with a net worth of $120 million, and as of 2022, she is still the first and only black woman who has won an Academy Award for Best Actress. Arguably the most recognizable woman in the world, Oprah boasts a net worth of $3.5 billion and the status of an entrepreneur who changed daytime television forever. She has launched countless careers and has millions of adoring fans. But what a lot of people don't know is that she grew up in severe poverty in rural Mississippi and had to wear potato sacks when her family couldn't afford new clothes. While living with her mother in a boarding house in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, between the ages of 6 and 14, Oprah said she was physically abused for years and often had to sleep on the porch. Being sent to live with her father, Vernon Winfrey, in Nashville, Tennessee, was the turning point she needed. He helped create structure in her life. Her schoolwork improved, and she became much more focused. While still a high school senior, she got her first job in broadcasting as a part-time newsreader for a local radio station in Nashville. And by the age of 19, she became a news anchor for the local CBS television station. This was just the start of her amazing career, which would make her a multi-billionaire. Rihanna was born and raised in Barbados. Her childhood was filled with struggle, pain, abuse, drug use, poverty, and illness. Her father, Robert Fenty, was an alcoholic and crack addict who abused her mom for years and hit her as well. It made her constantly on edge and stressed. By the time she was 16, she was caring for her brother while her single mom worked day and night to support the family her dad tore apart. After winning a beauty pageant at the age of 16 and catching the eye of American record producer Evan Rogers, she moved in with him and his wife and recorded a demo that would catch the attention of Jay-Z. Only 18 years later, she's created eight studio albums, amassed numerous awards, created a lucrative cosmetics line, and a successful lingerie line, making her worth $1.4 billion. It's amazing how far she's come. Jennifer Lopez had always wanted to be a dancer, but her mother wanted her to enter college. As a result of their disagreement, J.Lo moved out of her parents' house and stayed on a sofa at a dance studio. She told W Magazine, I was homeless, but I told her, this is what I have to do. By 1991, she got her first big break as a fly girl dancer on In Living Color. And then in 1993, she landed a gig as a backup dancer for Janet Jackson. From there, she pursued singing and acting, and we can safely say it was a success. She's reportedly worth $400 million. It was Jim Carrey's traumatic start in life that would fuel his comedy and love for making people laugh. He was the youngest of four, and while his father was suddenly let go from his job, his mom was addicted to painkillers and their whole family was forced to move into a van. His family parked in different places throughout Canada and they eventually moved into a tent on his older sister's lawn. On an episode of Inside the Actor's Studio, Carrie opened up about the dark period in his life. That was really a traumatic kick in the guts. 
We lived in a van for a while. I was going to school, and after school, I was doing an eight-hour shift in a factory. Because Carrie wanted to help his parents out of their difficult situation, he dropped out of school on his 16th birthday and decided to take up stand-up comedy. Luckily, it worked out, and he's one of the most well-known names in comedic cinema with a net worth of $185 million. Tyler Perry grew up as a timid kid whose father believed the answer to everything was to beat it out of you. Perry attempted suicide with permanent scars on his wrist to show for it. He dropped out of high school, eventually obtained his GED, and started working as a carpenter's apprentice. In the late 90s, he was evicted for not paying rent, and for three months he lived out of his car. He told Larry King in a 2009 interview it was character building. It took seven years as a playwright before his career would turn around in 1998. As he was reflecting back on the time he was homeless, he shared in a Facebook post, Atlanta has truly been the promised land for me. I came here with nothing, lived off Sylvan Road, ended up homeless and starving, but I was always praying and believing. That exit sign for the street he lived off is now called Tyler Perry Studios, one of the largest film studios in the nation. He's now a billionaire. Kelly Clarkson likewise struggled before her breakthrough. She went to Los Angeles to try and make it as a singer, only to be forced to live out of her car after she lost her apartment in a fire. Soon after, she moved back home to Texas, where her friends encouraged her to audition for American Idol. When she auditioned, she still had nothing to her name, not even something appropriate to wear, she told CNBC. Literally, I had to make that top to go to this audition. I had, like, no clothes, no nothing. She ended up winning the first season of the show in 2002 and now hosts her own television show. Her reported monthly salary for both The Voice and her talk show is $1.9 million. She's made around $53 million on The Voice so far, and her digital single sales top $11 million. She's earned $100 million during her entire career. Hard to believe she was sleeping in her car at one point. When Tiffany Haddish was nine, her mom suffered severe brain damage, which caused her to become schizophrenic, abusive, and violent. This forced Haddish to grow up fast, becoming the primary caregiver to her mom and five younger siblings. During this time, she discovered her talent for making people laugh. By the time she was 12, she and her siblings were separated and put into foster care where she used comedy to cope. They were reunited three years later. Throughout her 20s, she lived out of her car and did side jobs. Stand-up comedy, small roles on television shows and movies, basically any gig to make ends meet. She was homeless three times as an adult. In 2005, when she was doing stand-up with Kevin Hart at Comedy Playground, Kevin realized she was actually living in her car, lent her some money to get a motel room, and encouraged her to write down her goals. Tiffany did just that, and since then, her career has skyrocketed. She now has a net worth of $6 million. Ed Sharon regularly sells out stadiums and is one of the highest earning solo artists in the world. But before he became famous, he couch surfed and slept outside and on trains for two and a half years. Hard to believe, right? He revealed, there was an arc outside Buckingham Palace that has a heating duct and I spent a couple of nights there. I didn't have anywhere to live for much of 2008 and the whole of 2009 and 2010, but somehow I made it work. He also admitted, I'd go out and play a gig, wait until 5 a.m. when the underground opened, sleep on the circle line until 12, go to a session, and then repeat. It wasn't that bad. He'd been playing gigs in London for about four years when he lost his place and just couch surfed on the nights he didn't want to sleep outside. Just a few years later, he returned to Buckingham Palace to play at the Queen's Diamond Jubilee concert in front of thousands. He now has a net worth of $200 million. Steve Harvey flunked out of college, got fired from multiple jobs, and became homeless. By the age of 27, he was living out of his Ford Tempo. This would be the case for three years. He would shower in restrooms at hotels, convenience stores, or swimming pools. He kept believing in himself. He had faith that he would one day have his own show and do what he loved. His big break came when he was called to appear on Showtime at the Apollo. Today, Steve Harvey is an author, actor, comedian, TV show host, and one of television's top personalities. 
He is living proof that if you believe in yourself, you can achieve any goal you set for yourself. It may not happen right away, but it will happen one day. With stories like this, even the most hopeless dreamers may find hope and inspiration, which proves that despite how difficult the journey may appear, persistence, positivity, and hard work eventually pay off. Which of these celebrities' stories shocked you the most? And which ones inspired you? Let us know by leaving a comment below.